They were all okay. required to pay. We'll go ahead and hit this fair use for educational purposes. Brother Ron March on Miss D's show doing an interview. Now we're going to start off over the for off. Now I'm working, so here we go. Lord and Master, Islam is truly a okay. to the United States. Why? Because they all have a noble, a title of nobility called Esquire. You seen that EQS behind those those, those people's names? That means right. they're Esquire. They were knighted by the Queen or the King of England to pay homage to them, not to us. This is how they, they maintain control. England maintains control of America through the law system. That's why it's all corrupt. No lawyer's a good lawyer. No judge is a good judge. Black, white, mama, daddy, cousin, husband, wife, all of them are crooks. Every one of them. Take another step. Allah. A arm, L L leg, leg. A second arm, H head. A L L A H. Which is Allah. Got it? Thus, man being manifested in the form of Allah. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. My head is crowned with love. I have right arm. I have peace in my left arm. My right foot, which is my leg, is unbound, giving me freedom. And my left foot, my leg, moves forward in justice. Which creates Islam. I felt L law A M M master slash mother. I felt Lord am master. Islam is truly about peace, love, and honoring thy mother, because we are from the matriarch culture. They are from the patriarch culture. Islam is not terror and war, you see, on television. It is all peace and love. But they have manipulated it into in all of this fighting. So we get scared and afraid. We don't want to embrace Islam. We don't want to embrace Allah. And I'm not asking you to. I'm bringing you just facts. You can do what you want. I don't care. The tribes were uprooted from their homes east of the Mississippi River in a series of Indian removals authorized by the federal legislation over several decades and moved to what was referred to as Indian Territory and is now the eastern portion All of this has roots, which creates Islam. I, self, L, law, A, M, M, master, slash, mother. I, self, Lord, am master. Islam is truly about peace, love, and honoring thy mother, because we are from the matriarch culture. They are from the patriarch culture. Islam is not terror and war, you see, on television. It is all peace and love. But they have manipulated it into in all of this fighting. So we get scared and afraid. We don't want to embrace Islam. We don't want to embrace Allah. And I'm not asking you to. I'm bringing you just facts. You can hmm. do what you want. Hmm. I don't care. Hmm. The tribes were uprooted from their homes east of the Mississippi River. Don't he look like wisdom, y'all? In their removals authorized by the federal legislation over several decades 
and moved to what was referred to as Indian Territory and is now the eastern portion of the state of California, of uh, Oklahoma. All of this has roots as to who we really are. And they have us confused, number one, that we come over on a slave ship. We okay. got to get rid of that. Okay. We, number two, those that they couldn't fool with coming over, they created a what they call an Indian and say all things that happened in history came from the Indians. <laughs> There's no such thing as an Indian. And they walk around with the laws. No Just ask him why is he on a reservation. If he was an Indian, he sold us out. That's why he got on the reservation. Because he told the Europeans, I'll help you kill them. Because they're not Christians. And uh, they don't love you. to everybody. The generations the after most them. The infamous Indian removal was in 1838 known as the Trail of Tears. The president enforcement of the highly contentious 1831 Treaty of New Itch Itch Ta. Let's spell it out. The Chata Treaty 1831. They used that treaty to remove the Indian out of the Georgia, Tennessee, Mississippi area and push him out to Oklahoma. Tulsa, Tulsa. During the American Civil War. Which I told Shout out to Miss Mary Brown. From Hollywood, but the, the court fights. The five tribes were divided in their loyalties. The Choctaw and Chickasaw from the predominantly I get inside, inside. On the Confederate side, 
while the Crete, Seminole, and especially the Cherokee were split between the Union and the Confederacy. See, they're trying to clean up the trash that they put in the books. I'm looking right at it. <laughs> yes, yes. Unlike Indian tribes in neighboring areas who belonged to the Iroquois Confederation and had a, demo a, a, a democratic form of government, listen carefully, the power tan tribes was ruled by, I can't pronounce his name, I'm going to call him Wachacucha. I don't know what his name is, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Powerful chief who had conquered and claimed over 30 different Indian bands, which would be tribes living in as many as a hundred different villages to form the uh, power tan chieftain. While each band still had a chief, they were all required to pay tribute to Wachacan Koo, whatever this guy's name was, and were under his authority. That's the form of government we have today. The president, all of the governors pay homage to the president. They stole everything they have. They took it from us. And the most profound form of government was the Iroquois Confederation. This is, a, is the power tan confederation. In the beginning, relationship between the English and the power tan was And prisoners were taken on both sides to be held for exchange and peace negotiations. One at one point, the chief's daughter, Marcotta, better known as Pocahontas, was taken by the English, European, and held as an exchange for English prisoners. Pocahontas converted to Christianity and was courted by John Wolfe, European. In 1613, the two were married with the chief's consent and the power of the power tan tribe and the English settlers established a peace coexistence. And you wonder why we in trouble? <sighs> Brother, say the truth, man. All this stuff is so heavy. It just. Oh, so I want everybody. So that's so. Go so ahead. Someone in the chat room was asking uh, how did the tribe become white? Well, you just told it back here with Pocahontas and Wolf. Wolf was a European. That's what I know. And she said, okay. how did the Indians, all of them are white now? And so they they got the Pocahontas and Wolf. I just had a lot of children, and I could see yeah. how they became white now. But then I would ask that that person who's there in the chat room, have they ever been to a powwow? And from what she's saying, I don't think that she's ever been to a powwow because of two fractions. Number one, half of the so-called people that show up are blacker than I am. Hmm. Number two, there is a large contingency of white people that show up. They claim they have in our black blood. Why do they do that? Because the government, through treaties, owe them benefits. If you know an Indian, ask him about the benefits. They have good jobs and benefits. I told you, next time you take out an application and they ask you what is your race, check white and see what happens to your mailbox. In a matter of two months, it'll be overflowed with benefits that you never knew existed. So yes, Indians are white and they're light complected, but not all of them. Any light complected black person or colored person can be an Indian. But I tell you what, you'll never see a blonde haired, blue eyed pale skin call himself Indian. <laughs> he can't pass the test. And see, they know how to trick us to hate ourselves, because now comes to mind about the brown bag test. Now, I got to ask you, Bev, do you know anything about the brown bag test? Yeah, that's 